I'm going to be showing you how I have packed my banana fish pump bag. This is the banana fish bag. There is a pocket right here. It's just a slip down pocket and it does go all the way to the bottom. Same on the back. It has another slip down pocket and this goes all the way to the bottom as well. On each side, you'll see that there are a full zipper pocket, but each pocket's a little bit different. All right, so this side, I keep my pump parts in. I do have the Spectra S1 which is really just means that the pump has an internal battery. So I have my two bottles, my flanges, and then my valves. And so I keep them in this deep pocket right here um, because it's, it's kind of its self-contained area. It does have this white proof material. So if there's a little bit of water on these, it wouldn't really affect the bag as well as any of the contents that are in the main compartment. Uh, I have tried to fit my pump in here, and if you do stretch it, uh, you can zip it, but it is kind of complicated, so I just find it easier to put it in the main compartment and keep this for all of my pump parts. So I just kind of throw them in there after I dry them, and this zips right up. On the other side, we have the same type of pocket, um, except this one is not a deep pocket. It's just a flat pocket with an elastic compartment and then a little um, space where you can put maybe a picture of you and your baby. So I just keep a pack of breast milk storage bags as well as a Sharpie so I can write on them. And I just keep that in there. I do keep all of my milk stored in freezer bags because once I do bring it home, I will freeze it. So this is the top of the bag. It does have where it is kind of opened, um, but this completely closes and you can see it's got this square shape so you can really fit a lot in this bag and pack it to the top and still be able to close this opposed to it being where it would close from side to side. So I do like that feature a lot. So this is how my bag looks from the top. So we'll start unpacking it. So first I carry this Boone travel kit um, it's got like a mini grass and then some bottle brush cleaners. Everything comes out and it stands in itself to dry. So I use this as a drying rack um, for either the pump parts or I can also take this in my diaper bag for my bottles if someone else maybe needed to bottle feed him um, because he is breastfed right now. We don't use this too much unless I use it with my pump supplies. And then it's a little self-containing and even has a slit in the back so that it can air dry itself out and it doesn't get all moldy and gross. So then when you take that off, you can really see more down into the pump, pump bag. So this is the main compartment you can see right here. This is that bag I was talking about. This is the pocket where my pump supplies are in. So I keep my pump right on the other side. I'm able to keep the tubing connected at all times so I don't have to put it on and off because it does fit down in there. So I'll show you later how this fits in the side pocket if you did want to try that. Next, it has these two large pockets down the side that are elastic so I keep just a pack of the Kindred Bravely uh, reusable uh, breast pads. So these are washable. They're a little bit thicker, um, but I don't leak too much. So I really find that these work really good whenever I need them. And I like that I don't have to keep purchasing more items. So it comes in this really cute kind of wet bag. So really, really cute item. And then on the other compartment, on the other elastic side, I keep two pump bras. They each have a different function. So this first one is my regular pump bra. It holds the flanges for you. It's um, elastic all the way around, so you just zip it up the front and it'll hold your pump flanges for you so you can pump hands-free and it adjusts to many different sizes. So, you know, you can really make this very versatile piece. I use this or also if I'm wearing my nursing bra, I can wear this bra, it snaps around 
and then this will snap right onto my nursing bra so I don't have to take off my bra completely I can just kind of utilize what I have there um, I really I use them both it really just depends on the situation and what I'm already wearing and whatnot so I like to keep them both in here in case I need either one of them on this back there's a zipper pocket right here and I just keep the AC adapter for the pump in there just for easy access. Um, the pump battery lasts a really long time so I hardly ever use it unless I'm at home but I just like to have it just in case. Um, then there is two more smaller elastic pockets and then this one's not elastic but it is kind of wide so I don't keep anything in here. Um, I have a small travel nipple cream and then just another marker for labeling things. And that is all I keep in my pump bag. And you'll see that the pump slides right down nicely into the bag. It fits the base of the bag, so it's not awkward in there. And then I can just put everything back. And then you'll see that because of how wide this is, it zips perfectly. No problems at all. So now I'm going to show you how this Spectra S1 pump would fit in the side pocket if you really wanted to put it in this area. So, let me just switch it. So if you try to put the pump in forward facing, so where you would think you'd want to like unzip it and just pump straight from the side, you can see that even if I were to take the flanges off, like this doesn't fit. So you would have to turn the pump to the side and it would zip with a little bit of difficulty, but I just feel like it's just easier to take it out of the top. I don't have to take my tubing off. It just seems to be a lot more convenient and it separates my pump parts nicely so that if they are a little wet or something like that, I don't have to worry about them getting on anything else. And I like to keep them kind of separate like that. So, that is the Banana Fish Pump Bag. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.